Hey guys, so you speak a language at an intermediate level and you want to reach an advanced level. You basically want to go from B to the C levels. And how can you do that? Well, we do talk about that here um, at Language Wood quite often. Basically say that you have to try new appro approaches. You need to do new things, lots of input, lots of reading, and listening. Also, of course, speaking practice. Now, um, I'm on a mission this month to improve my Portuguese and let me share with you how I practice my um, how I improve my Portuguese by reading and the platform that we uh, will be using for that today is a link okay so let's take a look at the link application um, here you can see all the languages that I've been studying you can see that I've tested um, Link for quite a few languages, but today, of course, we're gonna do Brazilian Portuguese, or uh, well, you can choose Portuguese here, and they actually have content in both European Portuguese and uh, Brazilian Portuguese. Now, it's always important that if you select content that you want to study, you don't want to you don't want to choose something that's too difficult for you, but should also not be too easy. Um, and actually, here. Um, it says how many new words um, that the, that the uh, that the text or that the lesson contains, and there is also a percentage. So, if you want an easy lesson, of course, you are looking for a low uh, low percentage of new words. What I'll do, I'm actually reading my first book entirely in Portuguese. I read this book before in English, um, Rich Dad Poor Dad, and a link here they have the translation. Capitulo dois, right? Lesson number two. Now the great thing is that you are not just reading the book, but Link here also has the audio. So you can actually listen to the audio and read along with the text. And this is a very good way to not only... Because, of course, one way my learning your vocabulary is by seeing it, but if you also hear it, you also learn the pronunciation. It's like an extra association that you have with the word. It becomes more easy to remember new words if you also hear it and not just see it. Now let's listen to the uh, audio. Capítulo 2, lição 1. Os ricos não trabalham pelo dinheiro. Pai, como é que a gente fica rico? Meu pai largou o jornal. Por que você quer ficar rico, filho? Porque a mãe do Jimmy chegou hoje num Cadillac novo e eles iam passar o fim de semana na praia. Okay, so like this you can go through the whole book basically, they have the audio recordings of the whole book. Um, now here you see a few words that are marked in blue, and these are basically the words that I, um, that I haven't studied yet, or Link doesn't know that I know these words, it, it thinks that I don't know these words, right? So, um, yeah, what does it mean, Largo? Actually, I don't know, I guess it's like to, to open. To open a newspaper or something, or oh, dropped. Okay, I didn't know this word, right? So now the word turns yellow, and um, yeah, this is one word that I that I've studied today. Well, Jimmy is a name, so I know what it means. I will mark it as a word that I know. Cadillac, uh, sorry, Cadillac. Of course, I also know. It's uh, a car brand. Novo Delis. I am passando fim de semana. Porque mais Jimmy chegou hoje. Cadillac Novo Delis. Novo e eles iam passar, and they went to, they went to, they, they went to spend the, the weekend on the beach, I think. It's a little strange word, I haven't seen this, let's see. Went, yeah. Okay, so I got that right. And then it counts this as an extra, as another word that I know. And like this, you can go through the whole book, basically. And if there is a word that you don't know, um, yeah, you can basically you can basically just translate it by by clicking on it, by clicking on it. You know, fomos convidados. We were we were not invited. Oh, well, here this gives guess as a translation. It uses Google Translator. It also has um, other translation devices that you, uh, devices that you can select or translation applications. Yeah, and I find it a very great way to actually search for content that you that you can enjoy, right? There is lots of lots of content. There's mini lessons. There is articles from the new newspaper. That's another great um, 
Yeah, this is another great feature that they have. Yeah, so you can import the text from the newspaper just by clicking on this button here. It's importing the lesson now. And here we go. So here I can read the article from the newspaper and um, yeah, if I don't know a word I can just simply click on the word to see the uh, to see the translation. So that makes it really easy because well if you have to if you have to search your word, if you have to look all the words up in a dictionary all the time, just lose too many times. Plus the system link counts the words that you know and I think that can work uh, quite motivational. The first time I tried out Link was about five years ago when the system was not really developed. Yeah, I didn't like it. I actually gave it another try last year and um, I really have implemented this in my, in my daily language learning routine basically. I tried to read something this month I'm doing Portuguese but I also do the other languages. Um, so now and then, just whenever I feel like it. I don't really force myself with something I do most of the time just before uh, going to bed. And I find that a very um, relaxing way to improve my reading skills, basically. Um, if you want to try our link as well, uh, take a look in the description below. I will put the link there. And if you have already experience with link, then let us know in the comments below what you think about that platform. See you soon and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.